Devarim, Deuteronomy 21. If one be found slain in the land which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you to possess it, lying in the field, and it be not known who has slain him, then your elders and your judges shall come forth, and they shall measure unto the cities which are round about him that is slain. And it shall be that the city which is next unto the slain man, even the elders of that city, shall take a heifer, which has not been wrought with, and which has not drawn in the yoke. And the elders of that city shall bring down at the heifer unto a rough valley, which is neither eared nor sown, and shall strike off at the heifer's neck there in the valley. And the priests, the sons of Levi, shall come near. For them Yahuwah Eloheka has chosen to minister unto him and to bless in the name of Yahuwah. And by their word shall every controversy and every stroke be tried. And all the elders of that city that are next unto the slain man shall wash at their hands over the heifer that is headed, rather beheaded in the valley. And they shall answer and say, Our hands have not shed at this blood, neither have our eyes seen it. Be merciful, O Yahuwah, unto your people, Yasharael, whom you have redeemed. And lay not innocent blood unto your people of Yasharael's charge. And the blood shall be forgiven them. So shall you put away the guilt of innocent blood from among you when you shall do that which is right in the sight of Yahuwah. When you go forth to war against your enemies, and Yahuwah Eloheka has delivered them into your hands, and you have taken them captive, and see among the captives a beautiful woman, and have a desire unto her that you would have her to be your woman, then you shall bring her home to your house, and she shall shave at her head and pare at her nails. And she shall put at the raiment of her captivity from off her and shall remain in your house and bewail at her father and at her mother a full month. And after that, you shall go in unto her and be her man and she shall be your woman. And it shall be if you have no delight in her then you shall let her go whither she will, but you shall not sell her at all for money. You shall not make merchandise of her, because you have humbled her. If a man have two women, one beloved and another hated, and they have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated, and if the firstborn son be hers that was hated, then it shall be when he makes at his sons at to inherit that which he has, that he may not make at the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. But he at shall acknowledge the son of the hated for the firstborn by giving him a double portion of all that he has. For he is the beginning of his strength. The right of the firstborn is his. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that, when they have chastened him, will not hearken unto them. Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of his city and unto the gate of his place, and they shall say unto the elders of his city, This is our son, Rather, this our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of his city shall stone him with stones, that he die. So shall you put evil away from among you, and all Yashadael shall hear and fear. And if a man have committed a sin worthy of death, and he be put to death, and you hang him on a tree, his body shall not remain all night upon the tree, 
but you shall in any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged is accursed of Elohim, that at your land be not defiled, which Yahuwah, Eloheka, gives you for an inheritance.